periodically I like to go through my collection because um, I end up building up a lot of models of the same type and this is one that uh, I bought a recent collection that had quite a few of these in there and so I want to go through these real quick and see if uh, the ones that I have with my boxes are still the most mint um, of the set so this one um, I have with the later series box uh, number 40 um, and it is really really nice it's I would call this one actually mint um, it doesn't have any play playware anywhere along the edges there's no chips no scratches um, it has the original plastics on each end and all of the original wheels are intact so uh, this is a great copy of this model um, and I think it's still probably one of the best ones I have along here so I'm gonna keep this uh, in with this box as kind of my my nicest copy my my top set of this particular model um, but I just came across an empty box uh, for for this model it's got a couple little tears that I, I may do in a future repair video um, but I want to kind of sort through these remaining models and see which one's my best this one's kind of jumping out at me um, some of these are really dirty as well so I don't really know um, if the paint is the best actually both this one's got a few little nicks but um, both of these are, are pretty nice. I think this one's a little bit nicer. If I compare these, this one's got some edge wear along there. Along there, this is, this is also a pretty nice one, but um, I think this one's jumping out at me as probably the, the best one in the set. Um, so this one has a couple of issues here. Obviously, we're missing um, one of the tires and then uh, this hay rack is uh, bent looks like it got a little hot or something um, I this is an original uh, I have ordered the reproduction uh, this is a copy of the reproduction ones and you can see they're really soft almost like a rubbery consistency um, and they are not the same color yellow this is more of a gold yellow color and this is a very primary yellow um, but in all of these sets I do have um, some other original um, fence pieces and so I can replace that there um, on the wheels I know quite a few of these other ones have um, one or two or something so uh, a lot of times I'll go through my sets and try to make, you know, one good one from two or three bad ones or something like that. Um, so I think that's pretty close to, you know, a complete one of the best copies of this particular model that I have or that I'm going to find. Um, so I'm going to put this one into this box as my number two. So that gives me two complete sets in the original boxes. Um, on the rest of these, yeah, I'll go back, I think this was probably my second best. Um, so I'll take some of my other models and you know try to assemble complete sets as best I can um, out of these. You know, This wagon I bought, um, it looks like it's been sprayed, it's been coated with something. Uh, but it's got all four tires and when you start pricing this stuff uh, replacement tires like these even just a set of two is like five bucks plus shipping um, and I can buy that whole model for five dollars so a lot of times when I buy these additional models um, it's it's maybe just to get the wheels or the hubs or piece um, I actually just noticed this on this oh it's not in the hub that's in the plastic that's in the tire. It's got a little uh, a little tail on it. So that makes that a pretty complete set. Um, 
and I can take one of my original fence pieces for the end. So I think this one, this one really shows the uh, flexibility of those aftermarket. I think this, this one is an aftermarket piece. Break that. I don't know that I can get it out without damaging it. So, um, but because that's my aftermarket, I want to make sure get the other aftermarket end with it. So that'll be another complete one. And then if I look at these, I think yeah, this one, this one, the paint is not great, but it's got all the wheels. Well, it's got all the tires on it. Um, a lot of really high edge wear on this model. Um, and then this is my this is my oversprayed one. Or I guess it's kind of a kind of a flat finish. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two, but most of these that I have, the paint is kind of shiny on, and this one's really dull and flat. Um, so I don't, I don't think that they probably came from the factory that way. I think this is probably an overpaint or something. If any of you know anything about the, the gloss versus flat, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think on this one. But uh, this one, I'm pretty sure there's something up with it because that flat kind of dull finish, I, I don't think is original to this. So in my sets, this is probably my next best one. Um, this does have an issue. It has the little pins broken off from a, uh, a fence piece that's obviously no longer with it. So I might see if I can dig those out. Um, I might try to use my dental picks and see if I can get those out. So I've got one of my uh, dental pick dental tools and I'm just gonna see if I can force, just, there, there we go, that worked pretty well. We can force a little pressure, get those to pop out of there. There we go, just came right out. And uh, take one of my replacement pieces. That gives me kind of a second backup to my original pieces. And then uh, this model here, um, this has a little more edge wear than these two, but it has uh, two original fence pieces. Uh, it's missing all the tires. I've got a couple here to get me started on that one. And uh, that one I'd, I'd still probably keep in my collection. Um, but uh, these, these two last fence pieces, this is the one that was all bent and damaged. Um, and then this one I think must have like sat in the sun and maybe sitting up in somebody's windowsill for many years because it's, it's just lighter. It looks like it's just sun bleached. Um, so. These two are not great. Um, obviously, they're better than a, a broken or busted one, and uh, I'm not going to get rid of them by any means. Um, but I might put these with one of these other models as uh, future parts for anything that I might come across that might be missing some of these. So, um, and I think this one and this one here, uh, these might be models that. Uh, I put in the junkyard and look to uh, move on down the line, um, either to somebody who's getting into collecting and is starting out, uh, or somebody who wants to do a uh, restoration of them. Obviously, I've got five models of these now, so any more of these that I come across, it's really just trading stock or um, something that I can sell. So I think it's important to go through and do this uh, periodically. That way you kind of know what you have. I know sometimes it's easy to get caught up in an auction or 
looking at a collection or wanting to buy a big group of things and you know obviously I'm to the point on these where I'm not interested in hay wagons anymore <laughs> I've got a complete set I've got you know two variations of the boxes and I'm, I'm happy with these so just wanted to show uh, some of the possibilities of going through piecing together um, all your best pieces from different models to come up with a couple of you know mint or near mint sets um, and some other nice uh, backup models to have.